G'day everyone, Brian here. Behind me is our building, the Heathmont Presbyterian Church. Not a building we get to use much at the moment because of Melbourne's lockdown. And we hope and look forward to the day that we will be back in there and hope it will be soon. There's a story of Jesus going into a church, a synagogue, kind of the church of his time, on the Sabbath day and something remarkable happening. He goes in and people are looking at him and there's a man there with a shriveled hand and people are wondering what is Jesus going to do? Remember yesterday Jesus got in trouble for crushing up some wheat on the Sabbath day? Well here on the Sabbath day again, is he going to do some work and heal someone? Or is he going to take the Sabbath seriously? And so the people are, are looking there watching. Jesus knows what's going on. Uh, so he gets this man to stand up in front of everyone. And he says this. He says to everyone, what is lawful on the Sabbath? To do good or to do evil? To heal or to kill? Now how would you answer that question? What is lawful on the Sabbath? To do good or evil? To heal or to kill? Silence. Crickets. You could hear the pin drop. Nobody wanted to answer anything. Isn't it a terrible situation when someone asks you a, a confronting and difficult question and all the whole crowd can do is, is remain silent because they know to answer it is to condemn themselves? And so it was here. Jesus says to this man, stretch out your hand. And as he did, he was healed. How did people respond to that? The Bible tells us that the Pharisees went out and began to plot with the Herodians how they might kill Jesus. Jesus had asked the question, what's lawful on the Sabbath, to heal or to kill? Jesus healed and they began to plot how to kill. For Jesus, the law of the Sabbath says heal and resting is part of that. For the religious who don't like what Jesus is doing, it seems that the law of the Sabbath is to kill. Friends, religion has its blessings and religion has its dangers. Jesus sets us free from those dangers. Look to him and him alone, not the rules of religion. Look to Jesus alone as the hope of salvation because there is always hope. I hope that the Sabbath day, the Sabbath time will be a time of rest and a time of healing for you. May God bless you today. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.